Hello, Ken. Hello, hello. So, welcome to the Kickstart course. We're starting our ice breaking stuff right now. Um, yeah, let's see. So, what does this mean? Mm. Well, you have 10 minutes to sort of get used to things, make sure everyone's connected all right, and so on. You see the course page shared right here. The most important thing to note is this HackMD thing that we shared with you, if you registered. So if you open it, it looks like this. So you can switch between a uh, an HTML view and a edit view. So instead of using chat, what we use here is this. So that way you can ask a question anytime and then we can answer sort of asynchronously. Mm. And you'll see how this works pretty well. So if you scroll to the bottom, you see questions and answers. So um, just like this. So here someone has asked, we don't need Zoom now. And that's correct. So our strategy is that Zoom is for exercises and the live stream is for the teaching and so on. So we'll go and we'll be talking and so on and say, okay, now at this time, please, we'll do some exercises. Here's what it will be. Go to your Zoom and then work on them. Of course, you don't have to use Zoom. You could be following along yourself. You could do it yourself. You could do it with your own team in um, your, like in a physical meeting room, if you're like that, whatever. I mean, it's also okay to sort of be watching the live stream and see what you learn and then join whenever. So yeah, here we see a demonstration of the answer. So it's appeared here live. The most important thing to note is that don't put any names on here or any personal information. This is public, it's saved, it could be broadcast and recorded. Let's just not have anything there, except the names of the staff. So we start off with Icebreaker. So what's your background and why are you here? So maybe I'll go to the edit mode. I will scroll down. And why can't I scroll? There. Hmm. So we need some places for people to write. And let's start. Um, and I'll start writing like this. So yeah, uh, please fill in something here. And let's see if I push this button, it appears. And you could also use this to give initial feedback on things. So how do you think um, like, do you have any special request for the course? Do you want hmm, as needed? So the screen arrangement. So you may notice we have this really interesting portrait style uh, stream. So that's because we realized that the landscape doesn't really help people that much. I mean, you're not watching a movie here. This is a interactive workshop. You need a lot of screen space to do your own work. So for that, we realized to set a vertical share. So you can put it on half your screen and the other half, or actually slightly more than half, is available for you to work. 
And then after a lot of effort, we optimized the right size so YouTube would not downscale it and so on and so on. This example here is using Zoom and not Twitch, but the same thing applies to Twitch. If you're watching from Twitch itself, you can put the view into theater mode and it will scale like this a little bit better. Or if you're watching via our own, um, our own other site, then it should be ready for you already. And then you have plenty of space to share or to have your terminals where you're working, the web page, maybe HackMD open in another window so you can follow it, and so on. So this will get a little bit weird for a few talks today that are based on slides that are landscape style, but we will do the best we can. Well, let's continue. So yeah, so Radovan, when we were talking about this workshop, we were mm, we made a call, like, does anyone else want to present something? Radovan had this talk on how to ask for help with supercomputers, which actually provides a lot of insight into the thought process behind us. So he's here to present to us. So your slides are now visible. And yes, please. OK, yeah, hi, everybody on on stream and recording. And hi, Richard, and hi, Seymour. Thanks so much for having me here. Really nice to be part of this HPC Summer Kickstart. So I will share some slides. My understanding is that we have like 20 minutes time, but let's also have a discussion. Questions, welcome. The slide deck, you find a link to the slide deck also in the in the HackMD. And I'm pausing here to see whether any questions or comments coming up. So there's... Yeah, I, I will make a, one comment that is like right bang in the middle of your talk. I, we didn't want to interrupt because the talk was really good, but right bang in the middle, uh, it seems that the fastly uh, like edge content delivery network hello are we back online Yes, we're back. Yeah. So. so yeah. yeah. So apparently, uh, uh, there was uh, in the in the HackMD there was lots of questions related to some of the exercises that we did previously uh, uh, about the applications, and uh, especially on the TensorFlow exercise version because the documentation isn't necessarily up to date. Uh, now that I looked at it, the. Uh, the solution that was supposed to be found was this kind of a like a, if you're in in Triton, you would do module load Anaconda to load the Python environment, and then you would do something like Python import TensorFlow. This <laughs> at all. So basically, if you have something, for example, here in the example, uh, do you, Richard, want to try and, and run this example, for example? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Don't so let's see. Triton. Here I am. So I am on Triton. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So maybe I should make sure both are visible. Yes, that would be good. Hmm. So the example is a very simple Python yes. script. It just prints, well, it's running this command in Python. Mm. So we want to run so, this. Yeah, and, and the easiest way to like test how it would run in the queue is to just add a s run at the start. So, so what like the s run this? means, yes, like, like that. What the s run means is that it basically at that point uh, Slurm like understands that okay, this once this is, this will be run in the queue, and whatever comes afterwards is what will be run. So uh, it will uh, like like it says here, it will put the uh, task into the queue, and it's waiting for resources. <clears throat> and then once the resources are available, it will run the command. 
So in this case, because we are asking to, to print what is the name of the machine, it will, uh, right now, when you, we see that it's been allocated resources, it will say that it ran on this CSL46 uh, machine. So it ran on a separate system. So it was allocated resources, and then it got the resources and it ran. It ran with the, our default resources that are like 500 megabytes of memory and uh, hour of runtime. But uh, like in the example in the web page, you can specify these uh, resources yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, like you can specify these. So let's say we want to add, uh, uh, let's say, yeah, 100 megabytes. And mm -hmm. let's say, because it, it's very fast, let's say 10 minutes of runtime okay. if you want to put. So is this 10 minutes or 10 hours? Well, it's hard to tell. So I would rather put two zeros at the front so that yeah. you, you know what it, what it is. So that way it's like a universal clock. <laughs> you, otherwise, yeah. it's, it's very hard to tell. And you can see that in the memory, there's like 100 and capital. N. We'll talk about that later. Yeah. But OK, so there was good questions uh, there in the HackMD of how do you know uh, the resources of your job? And I, I usually say it like, like if you have a computer, uh, like let's say a laptop, uh, and it's something and it takes like let's 15 minutes to run on your, on your laptop. Well, you might expect it takes 15 minutes to run on the cluster as well, right? right? It's only natural that they are for both computers, it should work pretty much the same. Uh, and that's usually the case, it depends. But, but usually I would guess something that is similar to, well, how it used to run. Uh, if you're unsure, and, and anyways, you should put some leeway there. So, so put maybe, uh, maybe like a, of the order of the set, like the job runtime. So let's say your job takes hour. I would put maybe two hours mm -hmm. so that it has leeway to go above the hour. Like starting on your much. computer, like yeah, your computer yeah, might if, if, have 16 gigabytes of memory. Uh, yeah. like, or like similar. Okay, um, so what's next? Yeah, yeah. Let's let's talk about. Uh, so, so this job, like over here, when we run something, we run it uh, on, on. There's a interesting question here. If both Triton and my computer runs a program in the same one hour, what's the point of using Triton to run the program? I was thinking it should make it faster somehow. Yeah, that, that's that's a, actually a very good like philosophical question or like question like why why uh, would you use it? So so this is like like the ID are going above the limits. Yeah. Uh, but and, but so yeah. And interestingly, this is the kind of thing we talk about in our Triton admin meetings all the time. So there's some really small things that seems like an obvious thing to do, but then either it doesn't quite work or there's some other trade-off and well hmm. yeah but yeah so so but so um just to to like like yeah let let's for tomorrow like what what you should gather from this s interactive thing is like now we got our first glimpse of the queue system and this is like yeah 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 but yeah should we close off there and uh uh yeah tomorrow we'll have like like today like it, we had we went through that there's the stuff already installed there applications might mm -hmm. uh vary on on different sites storage solutions might vary on site uh, but but there's uh, there's some storage space is on every site uh every site has slurm uh you can run interactive stuff there Command uh, arguments might vary between sites, mm -hmm. uh, but but still, like the overall thing are the same. And tomorrow we'll talk about serial jobs, how to monitor the jobs, how to uh, run parallel jobs, how to run GPU jobs, and uh, those are an array jobs also. So we have lots of stuff to cover yeah. still, uh, but hopefully we get it through. Yeah. Okay. Um... Well, if that's all, I guess we will see you tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, I hope it's tomorrow. It is, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Great. Thanks a lot.
Yeah. And bye. bye for now. Please continue answering feedback stuff. <laughs>